Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. A current WWE star has sent an invitation to Rhea Ripley after this week's episode of Raw. JUSO expressed interest in the Judgment Day member during the show after he heard she was available. The Eradicator was involved in an on-screen relationship with Dominic Mysterio, who was in a storyline with Liv Morgan. Rhea Ripley opened Raw this week, and she was not happy at all with what was going on during her absence. She even turned down Dirty Dom several times. During a backstage interview after the show, Jey Uso stated that he thinks Rhea Ripley deserves better than Dominic Mysterio. He added that he would love to take her to the Waffle House and asked her to call him. I think she deserves better. If she need a shoulder to cry on, holler at your use. We can take it slow, go on Waffle House. You probably ain't never been to Waffle House though, but you need to come this way Rhea. It's a little cheap, but it's good. The quality good. We gonna get along just fine over here. You know what I'm saying, Rhea? Does a call me gesture, send this holler, I know this is on WWE.com, you gonna see it. It'll be on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. You gonna see it, whenever you're ready, said Jay. 057 to 141, Rhea Ripley is set to challenge Liv Morgan for the Women's World Championship at WWE SummerSlam. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm, golden glow over the WWE Performance Center in Orlando. The training facility was quiet, a stark contrast to the raucous crowds and high-energy atmosphere of WWE events. In the stillness, a lone figure stood in the ring, lost in thought. It was Adam Cole, a 38-year-old WWE star known for his technical prowess and charisma. Tonight, however, he wasn't thinking about his next match or his latest promo. His mind was on something, or rather, someone else. Rhea Ripley had been a force to be reckoned with since her debut. Her intense persona, powerful presence, and in-ring skills had quickly made her one of the most exciting talents in WWE. Adam had always admired her from afar, impressed by her dedication and talent. Recently, though, those feelings had grown stronger, and he found himself wanting to know her better. Adam took a deep breath and pulled out his phone, scrolling through his contacts until he found Rhea's number. They'd exchanged numbers during a joint training session a few months back, but he'd never had a reason to text her until now. His fingers hovered over the keyboard as he hesitated, unsure of how to start the conversation. Finally, he typed out a message and hit send before he could second-guess himself. Hey Rhea, it's Adam. I was wondering if you'd like to grab coffee sometime? No pressure, just thought it'd be nice to chat outside the ring. He put his phone down and resumed his training, trying to focus on his drills. His mind, however, kept drifting back to his message and the potential outcome. Minutes felt like hours as he waited for a response. Across town, Rhea Ripley was finishing her workout at a local gym. She was toweling off when her phone buzzed. Curious, she unlocked it and saw the message from Adam. A smile tugged at the corners of her mouth as she read it. She'd always respected Adam as a competitor and found his in-ring work impressive. The idea of getting to know him outside of their professional environment intrigued her. She typed back a quick response, Hey Adam, that sounds great. How about tomorrow afternoon? There's a nice cafe near the performance center. Adam's phone buzzed with Rhea's reply. Relief washed over him as he read her message, and he quickly responded with an enthusiastic, perfect. See you tomorrow at three? The next day, Adam arrived at the cafe a few minutes early, his nerves a jumble of excitement and anxiety. He spotted a corner table and grabbed it, hoping it would offer a bit of privacy. He ordered a coffee and waited, watching the door for any sign of Rhea. She arrived right on time, her confident stride turning heads as she walked in. She spotted Adam and waved, making her way to the table. Adam stood up to greet her, smiling warmly. Hey, Rhea. Thanks for meeting me. Hey, Adam. No problem at all. I've been wanting to catch up outside of work for a while now. 
They sat down, and for a moment, there was an awkward silence as they both sipped their drinks. Then Adam broke the ice. So, how have you been? I know you've been killing it lately. Rhea chuckled, a hint of a blush coloring her cheeks. Thanks. It's been a wild ride, but I'm loving every minute of it. How about you? How's everything going on your end? They spent the next hour talking about their careers, their passions, and their lives outside the WWE bubble. Adam found himself captivated by Rhea's stories and her down-to-earth personality. She, in turn, was charmed by his humility and genuine interest in her. As the conversation flowed, Adam felt his nerves melting away. He took a deep breath, deciding it was time to address the elephant in the room. Rhea, I have to be honest with you. The reason I wanted to meet up was because I'm interested in getting to know you better. Not just as a colleague, but as a friend, and maybe more. But I don't want to rush things or make you uncomfortable. We can take it slow, see where things go. What do you think? Rhea looked at him, her expression thoughtful. She appreciated his honesty and the respect he was showing her. She nodded slowly, a small smile playing on her lips. I think that sounds good, Adam. I'd like to get to know you better too. Let's take it one step at a time and see where this leads. Relief and happiness flooded Adam's senses as he smiled back at her. They continued their conversation, the atmosphere lighter and more relaxed now that they'd acknowledged their mutual interest. Over the next few weeks, Adam and Rhea made a point to spend more time together. They trained together, grabbed meals after shows, and explored the city when they had downtime. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day, and they discovered that they had more in common than they'd initially thought. One evening, after a particularly grueling training session, they found themselves sitting on a bench outside the performance center, watching the sunset. Rhea leaned back, her head resting against the wall, and looked over at Adam. You know, I'm glad you reached out to me. I've really enjoyed getting to know you. Adam turned to face her, his eyes reflecting the warm hues of the setting sun. Me too, Rhea. This has been really nice. She smiled, a genuine, heartfelt smile that made Adam's heart skip a beat. So, what's next for us? He reached out and took her hand, squeezing it gently. I guess we just keep doing what we're doing. Taking it slow, enjoying each other's company, and seeing where this journey takes us. Rhea nodded, feeling a sense of contentment wash over her. Yeah, that sounds perfect. As the sun finally disappeared below the horizon, they sat there in comfortable silence, both excited for the future and the possibilities it held. They didn't know what lay ahead, but they were ready to face it together, one step at a time.